Hi everyone, just coming on to do a quick project share. Now, this is not my idea. Um, I didn't invent it. Um, I actually saw it yesterday on YouTube and it was from... I'm just going to double check it because I'm not 100% certain. Um, Um, I've just been playing about today. Um, not right. That was it then. It was Nurse Tara 04. I got the idea from, um, and she's got a video up. But this is just in case any of my subbies aren't subscribed to Tara. Um, I thought I would share it, and it's she's called it Seed Bead Flower Centre Tutorial. Right, Max, that's enough. Um, and I have used seed beads for a few of them. But I have also um, tried it with um, glitter. Um, now this is called hexagon glitter. And I buy this for my um, reindeer food at Christmas time because it doesn't fall through their ganza bags. So I've got lots of it. Um, I don't use this colour at Christmas time. I use pink and lilac for the girls. I use turquoise and turquoise and royal blue for the boys. And I use green and gold with red as a traditional Christmas one. So that's the mixed colours I use. I don't use the silver holographic, but I have got it, um, and I love it. I think that's so pretty. Um, and to go into a flower centre, I think it would be just fab. This one isn't dried right yet, but this is using, and you'll be able to see it. Those ones here, um are all done with those beads here and I got them from Amanda Scrimpin' Mummy and these ones here are actually the the greens although you can obviously not see the colour through that one but this one you can see the colour through it and it's I'm sure it's called shaved dice or shaved snowflakes or something but you can see the colour through it and it's just beautiful. So I'm waiting on that one drying. I probably will give that another coat to try and just hide the green, just another wee tad. But I'm going to just come on and show you how I've done mine. Um, once these are dried properly, I will probably go over them with a wee bit of Mod Podge. Especially the glitter one because some of the glitter is coming off. Although it's on my glossy accent and it will probably hold a lot of it. I want to make sure it stays on. Right, so what you do is just get a scrap bit of paper. And I've done it with this one already, so I'll show you on this one. Um, there we go. Just a wee scrap bit of paper. And literally a dot of glossy accents because it's only just to hold it um, you're not wanting it to stick firm and what you want to do then is just hold it rub it a few times to make sure that it's sticking properly and once you're sure it's stuck that's you ready to decorate basically now I've got another one somewhere because I've done one with a red seed bead. Oh, it's in here still. Those in here. 
this was one that was done using, and it's red microbeads, that's what they call it. Um, but anyway, I'll show you with the silver glitter because that's what showed up the most, I think. Um, and I mean, this is the bag of glitter I've got. And it will last me for a lifetime, I think. Um, but what you do is you're just going over. So make sure I'm in short. You're just putting quite a generous layer. Now, what I've done is I've left the side beads empty on the seed bead ones. But you can cover them. There's nothing wrong with covering them. Um... And with this glitter one, I'm going to cover that as well. No, he's not, Javen. He's not, no. Right. So, what we've got here is just my bag of um, silver glitter. This is where all my glossy accents is. You're just putting that in the bag, tilting it slightly so that it's in the glitter, and then just tilt it back up and give it a few wee flicks just to make sure that any excess comes off. Turn it round a wee bit and do the same. Now, there you go. There is a few bits of excess there that I will take off just now so they don't end up rock hard. But, I mean, it's not mega important. I'll just show you where I'm doing it. And it's just round here. There's just a few wee bits. And round here as well, with a few bits. But as I said, on the whole, that's turned out fab. And it takes seconds. And all you do is just let that dry for a wee bit. And then you're just taking off. Your button, and because you've only put a spot of glossy accents, it'll come off easily. There'll not be a fight to get it off. No, there shouldn't be. Um, so this one I'll show you with the seed beads. Right, I'm just putting the thing back on that. The only thing I hate about glitter is it gets absolutely bloody up here. Right, now the seed beads one. I'll just move this out the road. Excuse the state of my table. My youngest son decided that he wanted to have um he wanted to peel all my uh, table off my formica. So I'm left with a brown wooden table at the minute. Right, um and I'm just right at this minute glossy accenting my pearl and then all I'm doing and I don't even know if I brought it up on there did um, see if this is there maybe excuse my big horrible hand and what I've done with the seed bead ones are just, and I'll show you in this green one because it's obviously needed. What I do is just
pull it over and just make sure it's stuck down properly like that and then you're just leaving that to dry as well um, so as I said there's loads and loads of ways to do that there's no right or wrong just make sure that you use a glossy accent that's what I would say with these ones once they're set they are pretty hardy um, they're not going to flimsy about um, and I'll just show you them on a quick project now so you can see what they'd be like um, and I'm just trying to see right now there we go I'll show you on Amanda's for now um, and I'll just these wet ones I'll move out the road for now so I don't end up getting them everywhere ones are damp but these ones are dry and what I'll do is I'll show you on this here I can tilt it up a wee bit there we are now for instance that's one of the clear ones you're putting that on the middle of the flower it adds dimension there's a bit of sparkle there and it's just a bit different from the basic um, that's the other one there's actually more on that one you can actually see how dimensional that is. Um, this one here, I mean, look how super sparkly that is. It is just absolutely stunning. You can just imagine that on a flower project. Um, the red, I mean, that just looks like a girl baby. Um, as I said, they're trial and error, they're just a bit of fun um, and just enjoy working with them. I mean, that's basically what that is there. It's just they have used chipped plastic and set it all together. Um, so, as I said, that's just some wee ideas to use. Seed beads are one of those things that we have loads of usually um, and we either don't use them or we don't know how to use them properly so they lie in the stash for a long time and don't get used. Well, that's an ideal way to use them. Um, you can use them on any size of bead, any colour of bead. Um, obviously if you're using your clear beads on a coloured bead um, you're going to get a better effect. So, experiment. I mean, you can obviously use uh, your alcohol ink, etc. on them as well. Honestly, the, the ideas are endless. But, I hope you have a wee go. And as I said, this is not my idea. It was copied from Nurse Tara 04, and I will leave the link down below to her tutorial for it. This is just for my subbies who maybe haven't subscribed to Tara um, it just shows you that it can be done very easily and anyone can do it right bye for now and I'll be back shortly because I want to share uh, some colourings that I've done the last couple of days bye for now